Hey guys and welcome to the Lurs Recoil build for the M700. So this is going to be based off the one that you get from Peacekeeper Tier 3 for $400. So to start off, on Tier 3, we're going to get the Overmold Rubber uh, Grip. As well as a MOE Carbine Stock. And a Rubber Butt Pad. We also need to get ourselves the Lantec Blast Mitigation Device. As well as a Direct Thread Adapter. Now, we're going to need to go to Tier 4. And get ourselves the Lantec Dragon 762x51 Muzzle Brake. We also need to get ourselves the Buffer Tube Slide Holder Adapter for the M700 as well as the Mod X mount, as well as the Mod, Mod X Gen 3 stock, and the Mod X Gen 3 key mod handguard for the M700. We also need to go to tier 3 with Mechanic and get ourselves the Strike Industries key mod 6 inch guide. Then we're going to need to go to Skier Tier 4 and get ourselves the Zenit RK2 pistol grip. Not pistol grip, full grip, sorry. Now we're going to need to go to the flea market and buy the advanced uh, receiver extension buffer tube. These can vary in prices. Then we're going to need to go to mechanic again tier 2 and get ourselves the Magpul M bus gen 2 rear sight and front sight. Let's put everything together. Also, if you want the lowest recoil sight, I don't know why you'd want to run it on the M700 like this, but you can get yourselves a Cobra EKP-8 reflex sight. And this is the lowest recoil build for the M700. Okay, so we're inside the hideout. Obviously, this is a bolt action sniper rifle, so recoil doesn't mean much. But well, I guess after you fire a shot, they are basically going to be on the exact same line as it was before. Every shot was in the exact same spot. So guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. Hopefully you used something other than uh, EPK-8 sight on this thing. And guys, I hope you found this guide useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Doesn't really have the same effect as the other ones.